Good morning. My name is Jennifer, and this morning I'm going to show you our system for processing milk. The jars of milk on the table came from the fridges. We have a kitchen fridge and a milk fridge that's out in the barn, and I'm going to use those milks to make cheese. My cheese pot, which I'm currently cleaning with a solution of 50-50 white vinegar and water, holds eight gallons. So what I'm going to do now is skim off some of the cream. Later I'm going to make butter. When we started out with our first milk cow, I really didn't know what processing the milk would be like. Would our house be overrun with equipment? Would it stink of soured milk? Would I feel like I was living in a barn? The reason I'm sharing this system is so that anyone who is considering milking can get a feel for the actual logistics and so that everyone else can, you know, I don't know, just gain an appreciation for it. At the time of this filming, we have two cows. Daisy, a Holstein, is no longer nursing a calf, and we've been milking her for over a year. Emma, a Jersey, had her calf in May. We keep her and Fiona together during the day so Fiona can nurse, and then we separate them at night so we can milk Emma in the morning. It takes my husband about half an hour to milk. He's out milking right now while I'm doing this. As long as Emma doesn't poop on everything and he has to start over. She has a habit of pooping on stuff. He milks Daisy first, then empties her milk into a five gallon bucket and then milks Emma into the milker. Is this thing? Are you recording? I am. So right now he is straining the milk that he got from Daisy and pouring it through. He just recently purchased this new funnel for straining the milk. I'll put the description in the link below. The milk doesn't stream through super fast, but it holds a good half gallon of milk, which makes it a lot easier for him when he's pouring it. And interestingly enough, the Jersey milk goes through a lot slower than the Holstein milk. Also just recently etched the gallon and half gallon markings on these five gallon buckets so we can see at a glance how much we got. So now he's getting out the milk. That was Emma's milk, so this is the Jersey milk. So it will go through a little bit slower. Each day I jot down on our fridge calendar the amount of milk that we get from each cow so we can keep track of their production levels. Right now Daisy is holding steady at about two and a half gallons a day with a fairly generous, but it's pretty light, cream line. And Emma is at two and a half gallons and creeping up getting close to three, with a small but super, super thick cream line. So once my husband has strained all the milk, he first cleans up all the milk supplies because it's so much easier to clean them out if they have not sat at all. I have to be extra careful when lifting and pouring the gallons of milk because they're so slippery from the condensation on the outside of the jars and some of the cream that gets on my fingers. So I always make sure to crook my pinky on the bottom of each jar. When we started milking our own cow, I worried that my kitchen would start to smell, but even with minor milk splashes here and there and the occasional accidental dump, there doesn't seem to be any lingering smells. I'm happy to report. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then he just goes through and pours in the milk. Really? Milking two cows was never our plan, and it's a bit much. It's too much, really. We're both tired of it and feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I'm probably feeling more overwhelmed than he is. But until we either sell Daisy or dry her up, this is what we have. And actually, it's not the milking that's hard or even the straining and jarring it. We get that done pretty quickly, but it's the using it up. It's the cheese making, it's the butter making that takes so much time. But it's really hard for me to throw out the milk. Raw milk feels like such a luxury. I have to keep telling myself that eventually we won't be milking Daisy and then this won't be nearly as overwhelming anymore. It'll pass. He dates each jar and he labels each with the cow's name if we've kept their milk separate. Here's 
Here's my cheese pot full with about seven and a half gallons of milk ready to go for cheese. And then there's just a lot of cleaning up. It doesn't take that long. If we work together, it goes pretty quick, but we're working. Once all the fresh milk is in the jars, my husband loads them up into this basket and carries them out to the barn fridge, and then he heads off to work. Tomorrow morning, we'll do the whole thing all over again.